dear friends, as our peace gong calls us into our worship time together, let us gather ourselves in the spirit of being in the holy presence of our creator and life giver on this third Sunday of Pentecost. And as we prepare for communion later in our service, please have your own bread and cup ready as well as a candle to light now. And let us prepare our hearts and minds to be together in virtual worship, connected in community with God and one another. Grace to you and peace, welcome on this day that God has made for us to be together. And by faith, we bring our hearts and our minds to worship in gratitude for God's surrounding presence. And I invite us all to sing together, Oh, for a Thousand Tongues to Sing. God's people on this holy day. Let us be now in the spirit of prayer. Loving God, be with us this day in the midst of all our faith and our fears. Guide us, O God, in the way of Christ's love and justice and peace, and empower us to be the voices and the actions that create the well-being of all your creation. And guide us, we pray, in the wisdom and the vision of this Holy One whom you sent to reveal the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Dear friends, we have the assurance that absolutely nothing will ever separate us from the love of God if we truly seek forgiveness and we are forgiven and set free to begin again this brand new day. So it is that we give thanks and sing, Amen. We praise your name, O God. your name, O God. Amen. We praise your name, O God. Amen. 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 We praise your name, O God. Sharing the scripture on this Father's Day will be James Sandagato dad of Henley and Lennon, and husband of Kristen. I would share with you first these words of the book of Psalm. Sing a new song to our God. Sing and bless God's holy name, for our God is great and greatly to be praised. And from the Gospel of Mark, and Jesus said, with what can we compare the vision of God, or what parable will we use for it? It's like a mustard seed, which, when sown upon the ground, is the smallest of all seeds on earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs, 
and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make nests in its shade. May God bless these words to our hearing and our understanding. Amen. I have here in my hand a very tiny mustard seed. And Jesus is telling us that the small seeds, the small seeds of love, of kindness, or attention to the wonders of creation, or the daring actions to speak out for justice, or the ways that we share affirmation or thankfulness, all of these and more are ways that we model and live out God's love. And like this tiny seed, love will grow. There's a special song that I've been singing all week that, for me, is like a seed reminding us to be open to all of the awesome and amazing wonders of our lives, even in the midst of all the tumult and the strife. The song is, How Can I Keep From Singing? And when I see or hear in the midst of this pandemic, the seeds of gifts being shared, or the seeds of wonder offered, or those seeds of justice being planted, I think, indeed, how can I keep from singing? A note came from a past member who moved to another state, and it says, it's been a wonderful blessing to return to Seekonk UCC via YouTube. It feels like coming home, and I often forward your service to people who are having a difficult time. And I thought, because of our virtual worship, she's offering the seeds of kindness and caring. And I think, wow, how can I keep from singing? Another note came to me this week sharing gratitude for the actions of one of our church members who helped her family in a time of need. And her note said, his actions highlight the basic tenets embedded in the foundation of Christianity, enough to make us all keep singing. When I was mowing the yard this week, I paused and sat down next to the Japanese maple and simply wondered at the beauty of those prolific crimson leaves and thought, such gifts of God's creativity all around us. How can I keep from singing? When I talked with my granddaughter, I was so proud of her commitment to justice and love as she articulated her faith so profoundly in why she was involved in the protest marches. And if we understand the love and the peace of Christ, there is hope, there is hope for change and for all colors to live in harmony. So how can I keep from singing? I first heard the actual song, How Can I Keep From Singing, way back in 1988, when I went to a United Church of Christ retreat in Colorado. And the leader introduced the hymn with a little history. He had learned it from Pete Seeger, who had learned it from Doris Plenn, a family friend of his from North Carolina, who first heard it from the Quakers. And it's attributed often to a man named Robert Lowry. And given my upbringing in the church, I thought I knew every hymn that was ever written. But ever since that retreat some 30 years ago, this song has been one of my very favorites. And it's, I'm so pleased that it's in our new century hymnal. There are various versions of the words, but I will share this first verse from our hymnal. My life flows on in endless song above earth's lamentation. I hear the sweet, though far off hymn, that hails a new creation. Through all the tumult and the strife, I hear the music ringing. It finds an echo in my soul. How can I keep from singing? This past week, I was so pleased to receive a very special video of this song, How Can I Keep From Singing? And the video is directed by Ryan and Cindy Ellis. Now, Ryan happens to be a very gifted young man who grew up as a child here in our church. And many of you still know Ryan as the son of Reverend Gordon Ellis and Diane Ellis. 
Gordon was the very gifted and amazing minister here at the Seekonk Congregational Church, United Church of Christ, many years ago, as well as being a musician. And he has been in our prayers continually each week as he has health concerns. So it seems most appropriate on this Father's Day 2020 as we celebrate the seeds that Gordon planted in his gifted musician son, Ryan, and we simply ask again, how can I keep from singing? I invite you now to watch this video as it begins with these words, as our children and youth cope with the issues troubling our nation and world in 2020, we celebrate their spirit, resiliency, and desire to keep on singing. So, dear friends, hold the words of the song as a prayer as they come to us from the homes of the Miami Art Studio vocal students to you.
How indeed can we keep from singing? Look for the love that com <clears throat> commands both earth and heaven. Look for the wonders around us. Sing for the colors of the earth, the sky, the flowers, the trees. Sing for the people of the church who give back to God their gifts. Sing for the justice and peace, the hope and the change that will empower others to live fully. Plant and nurture the seeds of love and life. May our lives flow on in endless song, and may we hold fast to being open to all the seeds growing that compel us to keep singing. Thanks be to God. Amen. We give grateful thanks for our faith community and the amazing grace that flows from here. And as we come before God in our prayers today, during the time of Holy Communion, we pray for all of those who are grieving losses in their lives, loss of life, loss of dignity, self-esteem, loss of faith, health, mobility, or jobs, or privacy, or time, or loss of what used to be normal. We pray for all those listed on our prayer concerns, especially those who are isolated or alone during this time of distancing, and all of our families of every configuration. And we continue to pray for our country and the divisiveness that might be overcome with the power of love and grace. We pray for the churches in our Southern New England Conference of the UCC and the Rhode Island Association and for our partners in Haiti and prayers especially for all of the changes that are crucial for peace and justice in our land, as well as the challenge to allow the peace and love of Christ to inform our everyday lives. We pray that you will consider God's gifts of creation that create wonder and guide us to keep on singing. Donna, you will now share our faith community announcements. Good morning or afternoon or evening, whenever you are watching. Welcome, and we are so happy to have you with us today. We are a faith community that lives out our faith together through all that we do. And we especially want you to know that your health, safety, and staying connected are our highest priorities. Pat Smith from the Peacemakers Quilt Group will be in the lower parking lot this afternoon, Sunday, from 2 to 3 p.m. with masks. And they're asking for a $5 donation with the money going directly to the church. So come on over. We also have a very well-stocked food pantry for anyone that needs food. Please call the church and let Maria know if you are interested, and there will be someone here to meet you at a time that is convenient for you. We also have Blount soups in the freezer. If you are interested, you can call Tom Heelan, but if you don't have his number, you can always call the office or me, and we will get a message to him. Um, we will not be having a virtual coffee hour this week or for the next two weeks because of Father's Day and then next week being the annual meeting, and then after that, 4th of July. So I will let you know when they will resume. And I am not going to stop asking, so please send me your short, less than 10 second videos. We ask that you record either alone or with your family the message that says, peace be with you, from, and then just state your name. Be as creative as you'd like. We have some really interesting ones coming up in the next few weeks. We will be showing a few videos at the end of each service all throughout the summer. And again, this is a way for us to see each other and stay connected. In my weekly emails, I'm also including personal prayers. So please remember to update Joy or myself if there are any changes or additions. And also, we're still looking for information on recent high school or college graduates. And don't forget that all families are invited to watch a weekly virtual church school presented by Kristen that is multi-age. There's a link on Facebook, or you can go directly to YouTube to view. And thank you to those who are continuing to either mail in their weekly pledge or give online. We are so grateful for that.
And remember, even if you give online, you do need to complete a pledge card for the new year. And the church, the hall, and the office are closed to the public until the bans are lift lifted. Only paid staff and other essential personnel will be allowed in the buildings to keep the space safe. Please know that we have already started meetings and discussions, um, and a decision will be made when the church could open, as there are many restrictions to opening. We will continue to update you. The weekly service is avail available to you in many different ways. YouTube, on a DVD, CD, and in print. So please get in touch with us if you know of somebody that is interested in viewing our weekly service. Thank you for all your feedback. It is important, and as you can see, we are making changes each week because we are listening. And we're having an annual meeting on Sunday, June 28th, at 10.30 a.m., and it's going to be a Zoom meeting, and you are all invited to attend. The information to register is in my emails. When the annual reports are ready, they will also be in the email, and we will offer you an opportunity to come and pick one up if you do not have email. Please enjoy your week. Be safe. Wear your mask if you're going out to a store or a restaurant. I hope you are in good health and spirits. Blessings and love to all of you, and I will see you again next week. I invite you now to appreciate this video of a father and daughter as they sing together, You've Got a Friend in Me. you got a friend in me? Yep, by Claire and Dad. By Claire and Dad. Friends, we give thanks for the gifts of love and new life and friendship all alive among us this day. And we come now to the table of our Lord Jesus Christ, bringing the gifts of all that we are and all that we hope to be. Let us gather our hearts now in the spirit of prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, singer of the song of life, in the beginning your word came forth and spun the song that rocked the world. And through history, in mystery, your song of serving with love became flesh and sang among us, to the lowly and the poor, to the elite and the rich. And we praise you, O God, changeless and changing, 
silent and stirring, for your song is sung as we blend your creation with our own. Empower us through your spirit to make our lives a song to you, continuing the love of Christ by our words and our deeds and our actions. And on this day, may our prayers touch the lives of all those whom we've lifted up before you. Be healing power and strengthening support for all who need your peace and strength and comfort. And we pray, O oh God, for our country and the changes that are so crucial to the peace and justice in our land. And give us the courage, O oh God, to allow your song to live in us and through us, that we will serve in the truth and love of Jesus Christ. And we ask now, gracious God, that you will bless this cup and this bread and each of us receiving in the holy name of the one whom you sent to show us the meaning of love, the one who taught us when we pray together to say, Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Dear friends, we remember on that night when Jesus was betrayed that he took the bread and giving thanks, blessed it and broke it, saying, this is my body broken for you. Do this always, remembering me. In the same manner also, Jesus took the cup and giving thanks, blessed it and said, this cup is the cup of the new covenant, the covenant of love. Do this also, remembering me. Ministering now in Christ's name, I invite all who live and love in that holy name to share the bread and the cup. And while you are partaking, please sing Alleluia, Alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Christ. pray with me. Life-giving and loving God, we give thanks that you have nourished us at this your table, and we pray that you will continue to guide us in Christ's love through the days ahead. Amen. And let us now all sing together, How Can I Keep From Singing? My life goes on Storm can shake my inmost 
Now let us all share our words of parting. Lead us from death to life, from falsehood to truth, from despair to hope, from fear to trust. Lead us from hate to love, from war to peace. Let peace fill our hearts. Let peace fill our world. Let peace fill our universe. Friends, may the peace of Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit guide us to keep seeing and singing and living each and every day in the love of Jesus Christ. Amen. Peace be with you, my friends, from Shelley Alves. Peace be with you. And our nation. And our world. From this glorious family. Amy. Christine. Ray and Buddy. from the Wright family. Peace be with you from the whole family.